hi guys oh my god i look crazy it's been a hot minute so first of all i want to say hi guys happy new year oh my god 2021 literally started off crazy like we started with corona and today i'm just literally going to tell you about my corona experience what i did and how i got over and it wasn't just me it was like literally my entire family and isn't it just annoying like how you were taking so much precaution and you're careful and everything but somehow like you end up with it like i have an idea of how i got it like i came across somebody who had it who i didn't know but anyway that's not the point i'll just let you know what my experience was so for the for december i'm sorry i like don't have any makeup i just couldn't be bothered to put makeup on as i'm like literally just got over covid i couldn't be bothered so what had happened was the last December, the last two weeks, my sister and I were literally like eating healthy. We were working out every single day, okay? And um, I was doing keto. So on the 31st, we ordered out, like we did Uber Eats. We got Nando's because we were busy and we were trying to do like a, you know, dress up and just literally take pictures. We didn't do anything else. We didn't go anywhere. There was no one else in my house. So basically on the 2nd, I, January 2nd, I was feeling so much pain on my body. I had a headache. You, my eye was hurting me. You know how like when you look this way, you can kind of see everything on this side? On this eye, like when I do that and I'm trying to look what's over there, like it was hurting me so bad. So I'm like, damn. And I'm like, maybe I have the keto flu. And if you, I have a new Instagram page called Glow Up With She. If you look at it, the last post that I did was I posted a tea with like mint and ginger and stuff because i was thinking how did i end up with the keto flu like i've done keto before and i've never had that in the last two weeks i didn't have it so that's what i assumed so i continue working out i was doing intermittent fasting i was doing like 20 hours whatever and then so that was the second the third i waited on the fourth i always have some perfume here it's currently over there i like just sprayed myself on it and i, I literally could not smell like I couldn't smell. Then my sister and my mom woke up sick that day. So I was ahead of them. I pretty much gave it to them. And I'm thinking, oh my God. So my cousin's like, oh, we're talking to my cousin who's a nurse. And she's like, okay, I'm going to book you guys an appointment at, like at Sunnybrook. So just, what do you call, go get the test done, all three of us. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we go to Sunnybrook. By the way, I didn't know when they do the swap that I just assume that they do it on one nostril, but they actually do both, which is good, I guess, just to give a better like sample, right? <sighs> so double the pay. I, actually, mine wasn't that uncomfortable because the girl was like really good, so she did it really quick. So the guy at the hospital is like, okay, you know what? If you have COVID, we'll call you the next day or like in 24 hours um 24 hours to 36 hours yeah we'll call you if not just okay your results here whatever i'm like okay fine now the next day so this is the fifth i'm sitting on my couch in the afternoon and i get a call from sunnybrook and i was like oh hell no so <laughs> the doctor is like you basically have covid and i'm like okay and everybody else has covid and i was like oh my god at that point all i was having is migraine and like body ache I wasn't having anything else so he was like okay you know just be careful the second week can be worse um make sure you don't have any like just pay attention to chest pain and um short of breath and I was like okay literally when I hung up the phone from that doctor all of a sudden my symptoms change and by the way like nope like everybody's symptoms is different like my sister had different symptoms my mom had similar to mine and similar to hers she was in between us i had my own symptoms so the second week i literally i just had a problem with coughing but it was like bad because i wasn't having a chest pain but i couldn't speak like for more than even a minute every time i talked for like two seconds i would cough like it was really really bad and i waited towards the end like on the ninth day the um and nurse is like hey you know reach out to your doctor like why could I? oh by the way you get a like you get a nurse that calls you in the morning and in the evening and i'm like wow the covid stuff's so nice like they call you in the morning and they see how you are and they call you in the evening to see if any of your symptoms anything changed so the nurse is like why don't you reach out to your doctor and i'm like shit 
why didn't I reach out to my doctor a long time ago? So he gave me like like a buffer and I've never used it. I've never had asthma. But anyway, that kind of helped a little, right? So basically, that's our story. But what I did to kind of got over, like as soon as I heard that we had COVID, I was like, okay, oh my God, like now we have to cut. First of all, I had to come back to my, like I stopped um, fasting. A lot of um, videos on YouTube were like, oh, it's okay, fasting is good for you. But I know I'm Muslim and we fast for a month in Ramadan. And in Ramadan, when you're sick, you stop, you don't fast. So I just took it like that, you know, I was sick, so I wasn't gonna fast. So what had happened was then I was like, okay, time to be a nurse, literally. So things that I, that you need is like a thermometer. Like this is, it, I think it's for babies. My cousin brought it to us, but we basically just put it under your arm. And then like, you know, you use wipes to clean it, but you need this because you need to know your fever, um, which thank God, like for all three of us, it was mild case. But even though it was mild, it was pretty brutal. Like I still wouldn't wash it on anybody. We also have this, which is like a um, an oxygen meter. Um, so it tells you um, your oxygen level and your heartbeat. Um, so basically the nurse said, like what you do is just put it in your finger and you breathe, like you practice breathing as you're using this so that it can um, tell you what your oxygen level is or it could be better. So I recommend those two if you are going through COVID and like you're watching this because anytime we wanted to get information and when we were watching try to find something on YouTube, it was all severe cases and like our case wasn't severe, but we still wanted to know what to do. So I'm just letting you know if anyone's watching right now and you're going through COVID, what to do to help you. Um, I also got fixed. Um, this, what I would do is at night, rub it on my chest and then wear a sweater, wear a robe and then my cover. <laughs> So I think this is essential. You need all you need it. Um, also, this is black tea, right? This is, um, you can make it powder. This is the oil, the same thing. It's 100% black tea. What I did with this is like, I would rub it on my chest, wherever your, your joints, wherever you're having the pain. I would also drink it, to be honest, because I was I was the one who was, having, who was coughing a lot and I like wasn't understanding why I was coughing. So I basically would drink this. That's what I would do. You get an organic honey and you mix it with this and then you take it in like one teaspoon or spoon um, at least three, four times a day. Um, so three, four times a day, you, just, you need that. Also, you need like Tylenol. I also took Advil to be honest, but Advil would make me sweat. Like after one hour, I'd be sweating buckets. And the guy at the hospital, the doctor said, yeah, you can take Advil, whatever, but my family, was like, no, take Tylenol, you crazy. Whenever I spoke to the nurses, they're like, take Tylenol, so I would take Tylenol. Um, so you need extra strength. Oh, at the beginning, I was actually taking, I was taking the Tylenol cold, like the night one and the day one. And then the girl was like, oh, you know, you're coughing. But I don't know, she was like, don't take that one. That one has other chemicals and whatever. Just get the regular strength Tylenol, which I have. So I took that literally guys like don't take anything with dairy and stuff it makes it worse you can get contracted and stuff and i just that's what my mom used to tell me when i was young and i would have flu or cold or something like that i just followed the same rules guys please be careful i mean like you can never be too careful but do your best to be careful because like for example in my case we barely left the house my mom has like underlying um medical problems and i was so scared like when we got covid i was like oh my god i was so scared for her but like just from god's side to be honest she was fine um out of the three of us she was the least she had the least problems and it's all from god's side you know we prayed for her a lot not just me my fat like all of my family prayed for her so thank god but i'm just saying like you don't know what other people like what other issues other people have so you have to be careful don't go over to anybody's house if you go if you're feeling sick make sure you let the other people know that you're sick so that they're aware wear your mask do whatever you can because even though in our situation it was mild it was still pretty brutal like you can't imagine every day when i wake up i would look forward to the next day i'd be like oh my god this day has to go fast forward <laughs> like i just i can't um and 
I lost my smell like from day four. I'm just a little bit getting back my scent. Like I could smell perfumes a little bit, but like not much. Um, also, I think our eating, <laughs> like we could taste, but our taste was like, for me it was like 50%. Like everything just tasted cardboard. Like it was weird. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to let you know, <sighs> I started 2021 with COVID, <laughs> guys, um, but you know what, I it's going to be a good year. I'm still looking forward to everything that I want to do, you know, but just the whole reason why I'm doing this video is know that when if you have it and you, if you are someone who has COVID, just be careful. Um, it, like make sure you don't go out take it serious wear your mask don't go anywhere at all um i think after like six days you're not contagious but you still have to stay inside um also just you have to do like drink um eat a lot of honey tea like literally black tea with like ginger honey garlic um have that like maybe three four times a day Guys, I was eating like, <laughs> this is when you know your scent is not working and your taste is not working. I was eating like big, big garlic by itself with nothing. And I was like, mm, it's fine, it's whatever. And my sister would look at me because I think she lost her scent way later than I did. So she'd be like, okay, hold on, you're weird. But at that point, I'm like, I just want to get better. I don't care. So garlic is key. Ginger is key. Black sea is key. Um, honey um organic honey if you can get um stay away from like sugar stay away from milk stay away from cream stay away from sweet stuff um also because you know you're just you have no energy so you're just lying down most of the time um what i would recommend is um to like do a little bit of um exercise a little bit not much move like do some hand movements um walk around your house because you don't want to have any other problems don't sleep on your back sleep on your front or side that helps a lot um there's a whole like there's this one article that was telling us all about it. i can't remember on top of my head if i can i'll link it below um yeah so now things are just getting back to normal for me it's literally my 14th day and i wasn't able to go out because my family got it after me so i had to wait until they were done their isolation like even though it was done before them i still couldn't go out because they have it so even though public health said hey you're good to go the nurses were still telling me no it doesn't make sense because they have it so you have to stay behind which was fine i work from home i haven't gone back to work yet so it was okay it's not a problem but please be careful again like don't go over to anybody's house if you're feeling sick make sure you definitely don't go anywhere and you let people know and you'll be fine um just i hope we can get rid of this COVID. um but yeah that's my experience that's what i have um what i did <sighs> definitely things that i recommend again are the black seed um take the black seed put it with honey and take it in at least three four times a day um also drink a lot of tea with honey garlic ginger um yeah basically that's all that i recommend thank you for watching i'll be back um with my regular schedule i have a lot of great videos coming up i even have some that i haven't posted from before which i will post and thank you so much um for watching my video thank you for subscribing if you have not subscribed already please subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it and yeah thank you bye guys Mwah.